Let's get today's weather. Sam Mack is in Sydney. What are you up to, Sam? Good morning, Shervo. We are showcasing and uh, raising awareness for a very important cause. Today is World Head and Neck Cancer Day. We have some very special guests here. Good morning, everyone. Yay! Great to see you. Uh, Russ is joining us now. Russ, t tell us what happened to you back in 2019, mate. Sure. So I was diagnosed with uh, head and neck cancer. It was in my tonsil. Yep. Uh, had gone through to my lymph nodes. So I had two operations within about a month um, and then six weeks of radiation. So sort of wiped out for about five or six months, but then started to recover. Cover. And you found a lump? Yeah, yeah, look, it had been there for a little while, had a couple of checks, nothing showed up. Um, and then we got the specialist and it was diagnosed straight away. Um, so everything happened really quickly, yeah. which is good. Um, it all kind of was over and done within about six weeks. Right, and where are things at now? You seem very look, healthy. Yeah, look, I, I feel really good. I still have a little bit of trouble swallowing, yep. eating sort of solid foods. Always got to rely on some water, being at the table all the time. Yep. Um, but Every month I get better and better, but it does take a while. It's a, it's a long recovery, um, and that's why the soups come in really handy in that process. Well, so. that segues perfectly into the soup. Uh, we're going to talk about that and why that's so relevant, so important after you do your weather. Uh, you're a former chef, so yeah. perfect man to be in charge of uh, today. What Absolutely. have you got cooking in there? We've got a couple of different soups. We've got a, a oh. pumpkin, roasted tomato and turmeric. Yeah, it's look at that. Yeah. And we've got a, a green soup with green peas, spinach. Listen um, to the crowd. I can, I can feel them <laughs> salivating behind me. It is soup weather, isn't it? <laughs> it's perfect for soup weather. Yeah. But look, the, the great thing about soups when you've got head and neck cancer is you can have them at any consistency, yeah. chunkier, smoother, um, and you have to sort of go along your journey and sort of eat what, of what works for you. And if you're wondering where we got our inspiration for the new Sunrise microphone, there it yeah. is. <laughs> 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 so good. Um, well, thank you so much. Would anyone like some soup? Are you guys hungry? Yeah. What yes, a stupid thanks. question. All right, we're going to get the soup happening. <laughs> and we're encouraging people to have a Soup for the Soul event and uh, become a superhero. That's Absolutely. why you can see a few people in capes ah, this morning. Well done. Good, good on you, Brad. Nice. nice work, mate. And so you can do that around Australia and help to raise uh, funds and awareness. Yeah? Absolutely. Yeah, look, it, it all helps. It's, it needs more sort of insight and more, more um, airing. And, yeah, that, that's why we're all here today. Give it up for us, everyone. What a champion. Yes. And so great to see people who are coming through it on the other side and doing so well yeah. like Russ. We yeah. love those positive stories, guys. We'll be back with more in half an hour. I Let's know. get the soup In happy. part with the soup. <laughs> I know. Uh, he lifted the tomato and everyone went, oh, yum, and then the pea and nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would make it in the can. Which one would you choose? The pumpkin and tomato. Yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> Soon on sunrise.